Hi, dear students. Welcome back to Computer Science class. In our previous session, we have learned basic aspects of modules as well as we have seen uh, advantages of modules in Python. Today, we have another two important topics for discussion. The first one is importing modules in Python and uh, next is, of course, we do try to create a new module, a user-defined module. You know what actually module is? A module is simply a file that contains Python code. It's not simply about Python code. Actually, we group what related functions for a module. At the time of creating a module, we do combine or we do group what related functions, right? And uh, we can categorize, actually we have two types of modules. One is built-in module, second is user-defined module. And built-in module example math, random, or uh, uh, some of the built-in modules. These are already defined. And we have another category of uh, modules. We can create, user can create his own module. Okay, so uh, today we're gonna look at uh, creating user-defined module. So first we can start with uh, importing modules in Python. Actually, what is a module? Module is simply a file that contains what uh, functions, right? Python code. Python. It's not about Python code. It's about what exactly? It's about functions. Functions of related tasks. You know, in math uh, math module, we can see what related mathematical functions or functions. Uh, performing mathematical operations right so the best way or the most commonly used way to create module in Python is to define a separate file that contain Python code and that itself what separated from rest of the program actually the, the statement is this the most commonly used way to create module in Python is to define a separate file right a separate file uh, which we want to group what functions and which is separated from rest of the program. What is the logic of separating it from the rest of the program? The logic is very simple. Uh, it makes what the access to module easy, right? If it is in a separate file, if you separate it to a file, if you define modules or functions, grouping functions to a module in a separate file, it will be very easy for us to access it, right? So it offers accessibility, uh, easy access to module that is why we are creating uh, it as a separate file okay then uh, it offers reusability you know uh, the most highlighted feature of creating or making use of module in python is of course it provides reusability reusability in sense uh, when a module is used in one program the same can be used in another program that is why we are creating module right so uh, module used in one program can be used in other programs or modules can be used in any number of programs okay so that is what reusability is so when we group uh, functions, functions of related tasks or related operations as a module, which can be reused in many different programs, right? Uh, module which is created or which is available already or predefined module, which can, can be used in many different programs. That is what reusability is. And of course, we know Python standard library is an extension of module. Meaning in Python standard library, we have a number of modules available. So which itself can be termed as module or which ex which can be extended as a module okay so we have two types as we have seen we have two types of modules built-in module or user-defined module built-in what built-in module and user-defined module after having the module the with the in the program uh, how can we make use of the module which is already uh, available in a separate file okay so how to make use of the module that is the next point so using these three statements we can import the functionalities of the module to our program okay it is very simple we have three statements import statement that's the first one second from statement and the third one is import star using any of these three statements we can make use of our module in our program okay so let's see one by one the first one is import statement what is that import statement we have already seen it using import statement we can import all the attributes right all the attributes in the sense we can import variables we can import constants we can import of course we can import functions we know that okay so example uh, we have uh, we know we have a module math okay so uh, how can we import math import math that's it okay import math we, uh, before that we can, let's see the syntax import module name and how to access the function or functions module name dot function name that's the syntax okay here it is the first statement is that's the syntax of importing a module import followed by the module name and how to make use of the function available in the module that's very simple module name dot function name when we consider math module 
how, how can uh, we run it? Import math. First, we have to import what the module math to our program, right? That is what import math is. And we want to work with SQRT, okay? Uh, function SQRT. So math dot SQRT, right? Because math dot SQRT means that's called uh, dot notation, and that uh, what method of accessing is called dot notation. And math dot function name math dot what SQRT means. SQRT is a function available in math. It's very simple. SQRT is a function available in the module math. And we know we have a number of functions available in math module. Seal, FABS, what um, trigonometric functions. We have number of functions available there, okay? But we are making use of SQRT. So that is the method of accessing what uh, SQRT function to our program which is available in math module, okay? And using the first method, we know this is simplest and the finest or most commonly used method, okay? Because it is simple, okay? As it is simple, this is the most commonly used method to import functionalities of a module to a program, okay? And using this, we can access all the attributes. As we have told, as I have told you, we, we can access all the attributes. But when we move on to the next one, from statement, it allows us to access only some of the functions, right? Only some of the functions available in what the module. Using import, we can access all the functions. But using from statement, using from statement, we can access only some of the functions available in the module. Okay, and it follows uh, the syntax from module name, import function name or names. We can we can access single function or multiple functions. Okay, and using dot notation, we can access the function. And example uh, for random function, we have already seen it from random import random, right? From random import random. Okay, yeah, from random. What is that first random? It's that is a module name. And what is the second random? Second random it is a function name. Okay. And using dot notation we can access it. Okay. And the third one it is import star. And it import all the names from a module into current module or current calling module. And that is what namespaces. Current calling module is what namespaces. Okay. So using import star method we can import all names from a module uh, to the current module. Okay. Into the current module. And it follows the syntax from module name import star from module name import star and we will be uh, seeing or we will be learning it in the coming class okay uh, example of uh, what import star or uh, implementation of import star in the coming class okay so these are the three ways and another specialty of import star is here we don't have to uh, uh, we can call the function directly okay without having dot notation in import star method in import star construct we can call the function directly okay we can call the function available in the module directly available in the module directly without using dot notation okay so these are the three ways of what uh, importing functionalities of a module to our program okay that's a revision uh, actually what is a module module is simply file that contain python code uh, what functions or functions okay related functions having related tasks so the most commonly used way to create module in python is to define a separate file containing python code uh, which we want to group which is separated from rest of the program the logic in uh, separating uh, what having a separate file for a module is we can access it easily right uh, without having any any um, uh, what issue we can access it directly that is why and of course uh, the, the the logic in uh, creating module is it offers reusability uh, the module is in one program can be used in some other programs okay so modules can be used in any number of programs so that is what the reusability is and python standard library itself access an extension to what module because we have a number of functionalities already available there in python standard library including modules okay then uh, if, uh, after having module either built-in module or user defined module we have to use it in our program right so after having the module available somewhere as a file as a separate file uh, in in our library or in, in the program uh, we have to use it in our program so these are the three concepts using which we can import the functionalities of a module to our program and using the first it, it allows us to access all the attributes using the second we can access only some of the using third we can access all okay but there is difference okay yeah so import module name that's a syntax of uh, importing and module name dot function name, that is what dot notation is and for uh, from statement follows from module name import function name or names we can access uh, we cannot access all the attributes 
uh, attributes in sense it can what we can have uh, variables constants functions etc okay yeah uh, using dot notation we are accessing it but using from statement uh, we are not accessing all the attributes okay we have we do access only some of the functions okay then import star uh, which import all the names uh, from a module into the current working module that's what namespaces and it follows from module name import star and it does what we do not uh, uh, need any uh, dot notation or some other kind of okay we can access what the functions available in the module directly okay we will be seeing it okay so this is how we can uh, import the functionalities of a module to our program okay now let's have an example of implementing module in python a user created module okay here you can see area.py that's a file name so uh, module should be saved as what a python file right okay so here the, this is our first program area.py we are saving this what uh, uh, set of group of functions as area.py and this is the user defined or user created module okay so we need to start with what uh, import math here we are making use of mathematical what module math module okay to a program you know uh, for what uh, we are what we are importing it okay yeah then uh, we have the first function def circle area radius uh, hash pi into r into r you know what hash is it's for command okay compare what interpreter will not run it okay yeah just for the programmer then return math dot pi into radius into radius so here just for using making use of pi pi function we are importing math module okay just for running just for executing pi we have imported math module to the program okay it's of uh, no other use okay so return math dot pi into radius into radius then we have passed what radius right so it works on radius into pi into radius into radius then our second function uh, in area dot pi module the uh, square area it's for square what okay square square area side then hash side into side common then return side into side it returns side into side it also takes only one parameter right the first function second function takes only single parameter and the third function def rect area length into breadth it takes two parameters length into breadth and hash length into breadth comment then return length into breadth okay so these are the functions we have created we have group in area dot pi module as i've told you this is our user created module okay name of the module is area dot pi and we have uh, what created three functions in area dot pi module and the first function is for finding area of circle second is for area of what created for uh, finding area of square then third one for area of rectangle right and we have defined these three functions here in the program and we know we have imported math module it's for running pi pi function okay and here is our second program it is math1.py it's not math.py it's math1.py and here you can see import area okay you can see the difference import math and import area what is that import math math is a built-in module okay math is a built-in module but area is not a built-in module it's a user created module we have created a module in area.py with three functions okay so we importing this module area.py to this math1.py program okay here we have two programs area.py that's the first program and we have uh, done the program just for creating it as a module okay and we have imported what the functionalities or attributes of area.py to math1.py okay so we importing math what importing area import area so which all functionalities of area will be passed to math1.py all these functions okay all these functions and variables and constants of course okay so everything defined in area.py module will be passed to math1.py okay or we can make use of all the functionalities of area.py in math1.py okay you can see this print area.circle area what is it area.circle area area just like what math.sqrt right math.py math.sqrt math.pow okay yeah the same way here it is not math math is a built in module area is a user defined module okay so it's called dot notation right uh, for accessing the function available in a module we are using dot notation so first we are what using the module name that is area area dot circle area 5 actually what happens is it passes to the definition word of circle area and 
uh, which uh, what the phi the value passed is phi which will be assigned to radius m it returns what nan dot pi pi into radius into radius okay will be returned to the program and it will be printed out the result will be of course printed out okay next we have we are calling the second function area dot square area we are passing 10 it will be passed to what side right then side into side then third one area dot rect area we are passing 2 because uh, rect area is a function uh, which is defined in area 1 dot pi with two parameters so at the time of calling we must pass two parameters okay we uh, don't follow any default mechanism or default parameter uh, program so we should have two okay we must have two parameters okay so this is what math 1 dot pi hope you understand it the concept is very clear uh, here we have two programs the first program is area 1 dot pi and we have developed that program as a module right we have uh, created it as a module with three functions functions for finding area of a circle area of square and area of rectangle and we have important map it's just for running pi function okay pi and at the time of developing the second program that is math 1 dot pi we are importing area our user created module right user created module your user defined module and at the time of importing or after importing all the functionalities of what area 1 dot area dot pi will be passed to math 1 dot pi that is why that is why we could access circle area we could access square area we could access rect area okay because we have already imported the functionalities of area to math 1 dot pi and we can directly uh, call it using dot notation area dot circle area area dot square area area dot rect area okay so this is uh, how we can implement what import or we can uh, implement module right first we have created a module then we have imported a module imported that module to uh, the other program okay so this is a, uh, this is our first example and we will have uh, more examples in the coming uh, classes okay coming classes so uh, just go through it okay it is it's, uh, going to be what uh, somewhat interesting okay so just go through the topics uh, very thoroughly and seriously okay so this is all for the time being uh, thank you thank you for watching we can have more in the coming sessions okay so Take care. Have a nice time.